Lil Blood TV back again with another Lil Blood TV exclusive powered by Talker Media. Of course, we're always powered by Talker Media. It can't be Lil Blood TV without Talker Media. It's not Talker Media without Lil Blood TV. Y'all know how that go. Anyway, make a long story short and a short story a little longer. Um, the Double Up, round two, part two. Um, got my good people in here. Um, Inglewood, Inglewood, and this motherfucker. What's the deal, um, man? What could I say about this young man? Um, just solid. Um, every time I got an encounter with this young man, it's always solid. It's never, you know, um, some motherfuckers be Hollywood, especially in this um, in this game we in. Um, and what I mean by that, um, this music game, this mm-hmm. underground quote unquote hip hop or rap, a lot of motherfuckers be hella um, fake. You get what I'm saying? Um, they'll shake your hand as soon as you walk off. They'll be man, this fake ass. But um, this young man always solid, always solid. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and act like um, we just got hella history and we grew up in a sandbox with each other. Nah, none of that. Um, it's just you know how that shit is. Natural, you know, just natural love. Um, introducing the son and presenting the others. Ruchi, what that shit do, fool? What's the deal, little blood, blood, blood? Man, talk to me. How you been, King? I'm bullying, man. I'm just living life, getting this chili. You yes, uh, getting this chili, <laughs> yeah. honey, chicken. Um, man, in it, doggy. We was talking about our first interview. Um, uh, G <laughs> drunk ass came and man, Bogart in our interview. Oh, man, man. We, was, we was we was finna get it going, yeah. But we had to double up though. All, they had asked me the other day, like we gonna do a little blood. So I'm like, we got to we. We started something, we got to finish it for sure. Definitely, I appreciate you, I appreciate you. Um, You working on your new project? Yeah, well, I got a new album from the drop. I was, that shit was supposed to drop like, probably like three months ago, but I got a gang of big features on that motherfucker, so you know how that shit go to clearing and... Yeah. yeah, the rapper shit. Rapper shit, the bro. Rapper I shit. I guess that's the only... Doubt. That's why I don't like being a rapper sometimes, because it be like, you really got to deal with like egos and... Mm-hmm. Other niggas' careers, like you feel what I'm saying. Question: um, I see you, bro, um, like I said, I follow you on the gram and shit, and I pay attention. There's a few motherfuckers I pay attention to, and you one of them. And um, I see you just sliding through this shit, bro. Um, I don't never really see you too much out of pocket. I don't never see you too much um, being hella um, highfalutin on the internet and nothing like that. I just see you just moving and grooving. Um, how do you stay so prestige and just calm, cool, and collective? Not having an opinion on shit, like, as far as publicly, like, like, I ain't gonna lie to you, like, a nigga chop it up with my peers, like, people who be around me about certain shit, but that's where niggas fuck up, where they just feel like the internet is their diary. Mm. You feel mm. what I'm saying? And it's like, they want more than their peers' perspective, you mm. feel me? All I need is the people that really love me to tell me where I'm right and where I'm, where I'm wrong at. You feel me? So I don't never go to the internet for a lot of shit. And that shit help a nigga. Like, that shit help me, like, literally not, like, be mad at niggas or anything. Like, you feel me? Like, damn, that's how this shit go. All right, as long as I'm getting these checks every month, I'm going to just chill out and keep doing my thing. Like, I ain't finna sit here and, like, give an opinion on the shit because a lot of shit, that, that shit don't even matter, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, solidified. Uh, you know, I, um, you know, um, with your city, Inglewood. You know, I'm tapped all yeah, the way Inglewood, in. Inglewood, California. Tapped all uh-huh. the way in. Um, and for those of you that don't know, Inglewood is definitely different from Los Angeles. Uh, and what I mean I by that, I always tell niggas that I ain't from yeah. LA. I'm from Inglewood, and that shit real. Cause like, until I was like probably like seventeen, sixteen, seventeen. I didn't know my way around LA. <laughs> Niggas used to laugh at me like I didn't know that this was this. I didn't know like you know what I'm saying? All I right. knew was Inglewood. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like straight up. Right, right. Um, like I said, I'm tapped into Inglewood real tough. Shout out Lil' Deuce. Uh, shout out Lil' Deuce for sure. Shout yeah. out Big Deuce. Shout, shout out, out Big Deuce, Lil' Deuce. Um and when I hear you, uh um, you know, it's a loop. It's it's um it's never um it's never, uh, it's never no, you know, it's never no, no glimpse. 
It's, yeah, it's no gimmick. It's no bullshit on your name. It's just always, you feel me? Oh, he a real one. Like, you get what I'm saying? Um, being that we do music, um, being that we rap and shit, how is it for you to really stay sound and being that person that you really are um, versus the music Ruchi? Like, you talking about just the hood shit and, like, yes. not letting it intertwine and shit? Yes, sir. Uh, I think we all go through it as far as, like, if when you coming up on some music shit, like, you always get the, you know, some rapper shit. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I went through that early on, like, but, like, a lot of niggas do that when they don't feel included, bro. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And God, by the grace of God, I got lucky to have homies that's understanding and respect the nigga career. You feel what I'm saying? And that's how I, I, I like, got to how I am now to how a lot of shit don't mix with each other or how I don't be in situations to where the hood fucking up my situation, I mean, my, my opportunities and shit. It's just, like, having respect and, like, if you're going to stay on that game banging shit and hood shit and dissing niggas and shit like that, like, that's, that's the company that's going to be around you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I choose not to do that. I might talk shit about some ops, but I ain't gonna never like blatantly disrespect no nigga or nobody. Cause I feel like it ain't worth. If you're gonna do that, you might as well touch him. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I never like let that shit come to my face or. So the homies respect that. They, that I don't step out of my pocket. Like, even when it comes to politics, like, you feel me? Like, just cause I'm the rapper, I don't feel like I gotta play a bigger part or, you know what I'm saying? Like, Ain't shit bigger than that shit. Like, you got to respect what's going on, and that's how I've been this whole time. But how do you navigate the ops, though? Uh, and what I mean <laughs> by that, like, nigga, we're rapping. We're doing shows. We're doing this. And, you know, we don't know who is who. You feel me? We just look at everybody as fans and shit. Yeah, like, but in L.A., like, it's different. Like, all right, with me personally, like, Hispanics is a lot of my fans. Like, I got a lot of Hispanic fans more than, like, I got black fans. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Not a lot of black niggas going to be on no fan shit when it comes to Ruchi. I'm going to be 100 with you. Like, straight up. L.A., I, I look at niggas shit, like, on oh God. Like, I look at niggas' pages. Like, if I see some shit going across, I don't give a fuck where they from. Like, I'm, I'll am i be looking. I'll just be on my phone. I'll be like, oh, damn. Oh, this nigga from... So I be on that. I be, like, keep my eyes open, and then I be having, like, a gang of, like, homies with me that be on the same shit. Like, we know who who and what's not. You know what I'm saying? That's just me personally, though. I don't know how other niggas do it, though. That shit kind of throw you off, because a lot of... it. Sometimes you be like... I done pulled out on the fan, though, for sure. Oh, man, tell me about it. Yeah, you feel tell me? Like, me so... I feel like... I feel that situation, but... They fanned up like fast. Like, right, right, me? right, right. So, um, we gonna switch switch gears a little quick. So, um, so in LA, y'all have y'all have Mexicans. They're they're called Southerners, Serranos, Southsiders. Southsiders. Yeah. Um, up north, we have Northanos, Northsiders, Northerners. Northers. Yeah. Um, and this is me personally from CYA to you know just incarceration in general. Um, it's like. The Southerners, it's like they're right there. They're Southerners, right? And it's like, um, quote, unquote, and I'm not speaking for all of them, but a majority of the ones, they're kind of be like more on a race card. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? To where, like, up here with the Northerners, it's like, shit, they talk like us, they dress like, you feel me? It's like, um, it's like, shit, we grew up basically, like, you know, we neighbors. It's That's like, true. um... I feel that shit super different out here though, cause like in LA on some some real shit, the South Siders don't fuck around. They don't just be super. Oh, this is, I don't fuck with blacks. Like, but they hang and they bang with they. They people, yes, right. So like even like, all right, like this, like my dad, my dad from a black gang, but he fully Hispanic. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I thought you was like oh Mac Ten looking ass. Yeah. Now I'm black in uh, El Salvador. Okay, okay. And Shout out Nano. Yeah, 
<laughs> Shout out Nano. That's my boy. Oh, God, he always hit me up on that type of shit, too, though. But, yeah, my pops, fully, he was born out there in El Salvador, like, but he from a black gang, he from the hood, like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, him growing up, it will be like, the fuck you doing with these niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? Me growing up, my name is Juan Carlos Martinez Jr., yeah. bro. Like, in school, I only only hang with blacks. When I go home, my mama black, like, you feel what I'm saying? So it's kind of like they was, like, always on me, like, high school, I went through it. High school, nigga, like, when I hit high school and they, like, I'm banging bloods and they, like, what the fuck, nigga? Like, right, right, right. I remember I'm in class, like, first day of school <laughs> and they call out my name or whatever. I'm I'm in there, I got my shit on, like, they know where I'm from and shit. But they, like, Juan Martinez, and I'm, like, here. Some nigga, I forgot where he was from, but he was on the south side shit, like, like, what's up with you, fool? Like, you know, you run with the blacks? I'm like, yeah, I'm from Pyro. Like, like, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, so that shit get tricky. Like, the L.A., they be on that. Like, right, right, right. You feel right. what I'm saying? Like, you supposed to be with us. It's, it's kind of rare for, like, but nowadays, that shit, I don't know, because nowadays, it's, it, be, it be like blacks from Man, the south side they, Yeah, but they still own it, though. They kinda, own it, not like, for real. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's rare because they be on it. Niggas be on it. Right. That. And then um, let me know if this is true or not. I don't, I don't, um, don't be on that. Not at all. I but fuck no. around with a lot of different races in the Bay. I promise to God. That's yeah, crazy. yeah, for sure. Not at all. Uh, and like I said, it's like a melting pot. Mm -hmm. It's like a, uh, a melting pot. But, um, Tweak, is it true? The 100 days, 100 nights shit? Is that true in LA? Is that a thing? It, I, I don't know if it's like, all right, put it like this. I don't know if it was... And not to um no, not, no, no, I'm, I'm, not to uh, uh uh cut you off, but what I mean by hundred days, hundred nights, I'm explaining it to people who probably don't know. Um a hundred days, hundred nights was something like that's why I'm asking, bro, um, mm -hmm. that it was like um the Hispanics put black people right on a green light for a hundred days, a hundred nights. Am I saying that oh, right? Oh all right, so look, no, let me tell you what a hundred days and hundred nights is. Okay. It really ain't got nothing to do with Hispanics. Mm. 100 Days and 100 Nights came from, like, like some dude from, uh, like, Honey Crip in L.A. Like, a popular dude, he got killed or whatever. And, like, after that, like, everybody was like, oh, shit, like, he got killed. Like, niggas gonna be getting... Like, somebody went on social media and was like, like a hundred days, a hundred nights, like his niggas gonna be it's gonna be a war and it's like at the beginning of the summer. That's where that came from. Like Okay. But I don't know nothing about that. Right, right, because I was uh, told that it was like um real tweaky, like like the Mexicans like tripping. Yes, yeah, tripping, like, like yeah, y'all was funking, there was back and forth. That was in high, like in high school it was like that though, like for sure. Like Hispanics used to be like on that, like Tweaky, tweaky, yeah, huh? Yeah, but like now it's different though, cause the rap shit. Mm. Like a lot, it's a lot of Hispanic rappers. Like now, you know what I'm saying? You gotta like funk around now if you're a rapper, like right. straight up. Like you feel me? You gotta funk around. So it's like I think it's cool. It's it's calmer now. Like that's dope. That's yeah. dope. That's dope. Inglewood, Inglewood, yeah. Inglewood. So um, Inglewood is like uh, um, it's like a uh. Small it's, suburb in uh, um, by I LA. <laughs> I wouldn't say suburb because you would think you in a suburban area, <laughs> and they gonna trip on your ass. <laughs> you feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's crazy. We got the we got the we got like a gang of like significant places. You feel what I'm saying? So like even like now, nigga, we got the stadium. Uh, we airport. got two stadiums, like mm -hmm. the airport, like. It's a gang of shit going on in the bitty right now. You feel me? Yeah. But it's, I swear to God, like, I don't know about nobody else, but, like, I want to see the shit only level up. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I always wanted to live in my, my bitty. I can't really do that right now. You feel what I'm saying? But I feel like it's getting to a statue to where, like, some shit going to be gentrified to the point they could, like, you know, chill out over there. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Tell me, um, tell me what Inglewood mean to you. Um, to be completely honest, it mean a lot to me because when I first started rapping or doing what I was doing as far as Rucci, I I wanted to know everybody. I wanted to let everybody know that I was from Inglewood. Like, 
I wanted to let everybody know, like, I'm the hottest shit since Mac 10. Like, I tell anybody that, like, like I don't think nobody could fuck with me in Inglewood. Like, music wise, like, can't fuck with me. I, I, I'm telling Mac 10 that too. Like, I'm that boy now. Like, you feel what I'm saying? But I take it like that because I care about the city so much. Like, mm. I do give backs. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I understand the whole scenario about like you being in your section so much and rest in peace, Nifty Hustle and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? But I be in my section, bro. Like that's where I be at. That's where you gonna find me. Like straight up because it's just it's it's, it's kind of just like all the nigga like bout and no. Straight up, like Inglewood is just it feel like home, bro. And like I said, we got a gang of shit going on, so. You might catch me at a nice restaurant in Inglewood now or the game or mm. you feel what I'm saying? Like, because I fuck with the city so much and now everything is going on in my city. How did um, Nip Death affect you? On, on God in Heaven, nigga, I was with Lil Deuce that day and this right-handed guy, we driving down uh, Slauson. I think we going to a, to a picnic or something, right? Me and Lil Deuce in the car, we driving and it's like, you know, and they from the other side of the tracks. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, we we drive down south. We're like, ooh, something crazy. Like, it's blocked all police racing everywhere. This is like right when it happened, I guess. So we're like, damn, somebody got shot over here. You feel what I'm saying? So nigga, uh, nigga just put, like, just said that, just put that in the air. Nigga, I bank a left. He on his phone, though. He like, nigga, that was Nipsey Hustle. I'm like, Oh, that's Nipsey Hustle, like not like that, but like I said, he from the other side of the track, so it's like like niggas expect me not to feel no way. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that nigga was motivational to all of us, nigga. That Shut nigga up. like nigga, that nigga got me like through a lot of like teenage years, like you know what I'm saying? Like I was supposed to be in school, I'm listening to Nip trying to figure out how to get some money, you feel what I'm saying? Like once I found out Nip dropped out, I dropped out. Nigga, mm. like, <laughs> you know me type shit. So that shit was kind of, like, fucked up. And to the city, though, I just feel like he had beat so much in the city right now. Like, right, right, He right. really, like, was there. You know what's crazy? I was in L.A. tough um, around them times. And um, I'm not going to lie. It was kind of like a cloud, like. A lot of people felt that, uh, you know, even even the other siders. You get what I'm saying? Even. He brought a lot of shit together. I ain't gonna lie. Right. He calmed a lot of shit down too. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, um, Piru or blood? Piru. Piru. But um, I, but I, I'm B team for sure. For sure. Um, you know, it wasn't. It wasn't cool to be a blood. It wasn't cool to be a pyro. You get what I'm saying? It was more, uh, you know, um, shout out to my keyways. You know, the keyways always um, outnumbered. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, you absolutely right. And now you. it's like everybody wants to be a Damu, everybody, but they don't understand, you know, them times and what a, what a nigga went through. You get what I'm saying? Nigga, bro, I, I'm telling you, like, probably like the... When YG first came out, type shit, like 2013, 2012, 2011, 2010, mm. the Crips was the shit, nigga, I promise you. Like I said, shout out Nip. <laughs> like, the Crips was the shit. When the blood started taking over, I started seeing everybody like big bloods. Like, I'm like, damn. Like, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm like, damn, they, they like what I like, shit. Right, right, you know right. I'm saying they. <laughs> Duh, like it took you long enough, motherfucker. <laughs> like, you feel me? The whole world blows now. Right, because like I said, you know, I was in YA when um when it wasn't cool to be a blood. And, <laughs> and um it's crazy because I tell people that all the time. I watched, I watched, I watched how it, you know, rolled over and shit. And um, I watched when Lil Wayne and them jumped off the porch. And you get what I'm saying? Like, I watched that. I was front row looking at that shit. And um, I used to just be laughing in my head. Like, 
niggas playing with the culture only if they knew. You get what I'm saying? Where you probably have two two dot moves in the holding tank and this, you feel me? Fifteen keyways. You get what I'm saying? And, and you know, respect to the dot moves. They holding their own. You get what I'm saying? But, yeah, and now we got a million niggas that's bloods. How do you feel about that? Motherfuckers playing with the culture. I don't fuck with it like Say that. at all. Like I don't fuck with niggas just like randomly like B team or randomly red rag or like you know what I'm saying? Like But that's what it be though. It just like you always gotta check somebody background. Like if I see a blood pop on the scene today, I'm a, like we're gonna figure it out. You feel what I'm saying? But a lot of that a lot of niggas don't be having that background no more. Mm. It don't be a lot of real pure like like n- bloods or crips. Mm-hmm. Niggas with them backgrounds like that, you feel what I'm saying? It's just all the facade now, like, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> So it's uh neighborhood Pyro? Yeah, I'm from neighborhood Pyro in that quick question. Um <laughs> quick question. Uh-huh. Um I know it's probably sound funny, but what's the difference between a neighborhood Pyro and a neighborhood crib? crib. <laughs> you know I was gonna ask that. Huh? Yeah, um All right, uh all right, so we we really like we like off the like the the twenty blood card, like the neighborhood they cause they neighborhood bloods. Okay, I know that. Yeah, the twenty bloods, the LA the twenty bloods, they neighborhood bloods. So like we we neighborhood just like them and we throw up this, like we throw up the same shit. Mm-hmm. So if we being like super like direct with it and a nigga fight, the difference is the signs and the colors. Right. You feel what I'm saying? But other than that, we the only like one of the only neighborhood blood hoods. Like that. Right. Shit. And um the same way a motherfucker with this neighborhood in it, it the same no. shit with y'all. Okay, it's not. It's not. Nah, nah. Okay, okay, okay. That's that. It, but but at the same time, niggas do do it, so we know what you own. So right, 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 right. Trying to disrespect you, trying to disrespect. Period, period, <laughs> period. Um, how do you feel about um the media? How um, there's a lot been going on in the media, and it's putting um gang banging in the front of shit. So this is what I mean. This shit to me is supposed to be an organization to where like the outsiders don't supposed to know nothing about this shit. What's going on? If you in this shit, then you in this shit. And then it's, but now it's like you can turn on YouTube and it's, you feel me? Like, like, Bro, like. niggas post. Reptable, reptable, gang bang, reptable real niggas. Niggas is, post, like, it be real hood niggas Posting on Instagram talking about meeting in the hood at 9 a.m. <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, the shit is like, the way it, it don't even seem so stupid, but the shit is so stupid now because it's like, just imagine that, though. Like, you see. I'm seeing. I see it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the meeting ain't got shit to do with me. Like, this is how I started looking in, but I know that them niggas is having a meeting in the hood at 9 a.m. You feel what I'm saying? And it'd be the outsiders that'll send them clips into them pages and shit. Right, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And then, and okay, now LA know that this certain hood is doing this at this time. Right. And then not only that, I just be seeing a lot of the gangbang culture on too much on the podcast. Like, and then another thing, too. The- yeah, that's another thing, too. I, I like... I don't, I don't, I'm not going to name drop or nothing, but I don't fuck with a lot of shit just because I know they're going to call me up there to talk about who I don't like hmm, in L.A. Say that, say that. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Or uh, just, like, simple-minded blood shit. Right, right You feel right. what I'm saying? Like, me and you can talk about the whoops all day. On or off camera. Cause who you are and who I am, right? Mm-hmm. That's easy. That's that's a comfortable conversation. Like mm-hmm. to have some motherfuckers like just randomly come to you and ask you about who you don't like and why you don't like them, or you know what I'm saying? Like 
First of all, I know you don't respect me because, like I said, you got respect for me, so I know you're gonna, not going to do no shit like that. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. But them niggas just thirsty for a certain thing. They want this. They want clickbait. So, like, as much as rappers be in their own world, niggas, we got to pay attention to, like, what interviews we do and who we fucking with and because everybody ain't out to make us a good person. Mm. Like, or, you know, I done clicked on some shit before with me, and I'm like, damn, they only going to post that part. Like, mm. Damn, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You have children? Yeah, I got two. Boy, girl. I got a, girl. Uh, I got a boy that's uh, two years old, and I got a brand new baby girl. She like four months, three months. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. Hard to say, baby mama. No, no, no. Dirty dog. <laughs> yeah. Dirty, dirty. Nah, dog. I, I, I'm for sure like, Ain't shit to the to the to the world like for <laughs> sure. Uh, or to her world. <laughs> I'm talking about to the world, bro. I get shit every day. I get backlash about my my my. Like you know how like being a nigga, right? You nah, just, like, I don't know. <laughs> on some shit like you just want to. You be thinking you living in peace, mm-hmm. but you not like because you do be doing them like nigga be doing too much type shit. <laughs> too much though. Question: um, When did you know like? Fuck, I'm Ruchi. Like, like, you know, we rap. You feel me? We do music and all that. But when did you know, like, fuck, I'm really... That's a good question to ask, like, right now. Because, like... Like, the lifestyle. Like, like, like when I start, like... Like, a nigga was just dropping shit, right? Nigga was just dropping, like, music on some regular shit. Like, you feel me? But I was also having f- so much fun with it that, like, it came with me being outside and partying and being in these females or, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And when the bitches start flocking, boy, I was just like, yeah, like, I went home like, yeah, nigga, you right. Ruchi, nigga, like, they they said your name, nigga, they, they, you know, they know about you, you feel what I'm saying? That's what it was, though, when they, was, like, when you outside and they was like, oh, that's Ruchi, like, Okay. Okay. This was supposed to happen, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How did you know um, your baby mama was the one? Um. So look, my first baby mama, yeah, like, like, straight up, I, I was thugging with her for a minute. You feel what I'm saying? Like, before it was, before the bitches was running up to me, calling me Ruchi and shit. She was thugging with a nigga. You feel what I'm saying? And that was that was like, you know, it was just me and her. And then, like, a nigga got a certain level of fame to where I was kind of being, like, I'm Ruchi, I don't really need you, like. Wow, uh, you got big-headed. Big-headed, like okay. a motherfucker, you feel me? And nigga, like, stayed right there, though, like, you feel me? Even though I was doing what I was doing, I always stayed right there. And then it was just, like, in due time, like, nigga had one of them nights, did what I did. She hit me, and it was like, okay, Northside, like. Okay, you feel what I'm saying? And like, with me though, it's just it just be like adapting to it. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be this person who just like fuck, fuck what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? But as long as you respect my my situation and my decision, I'm gonna respect what you got going on. You feel me? But yeah, it was just like it was time like type shit both times though. Threesomes. Do you think a nigga should do a threesome with his main bitch? Yeah, uh, yeah, I did. I I was on that for sure. I had a I had a bitch on me. I had a, and that's why I was fucking with the bitch. I had a bitch that was like a little fun bitch, bro. Like she was bringing me bitches all the time. Like you feel me? So nah, I don't think you should do it because that shit didn't work out. <laughs> that shit didn't work out. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Cause I'm telling you, it, it, it's just so much like, like that shit gonna get to her, bro. Her feelings, huh? Yeah, I remember like she brought me like a bitch and I started fucking a bitch more than I was fucking her. Like she put that shit to the end in the middle of the session. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, nah, not with your main bitch. <laughs> um, you gotta have fun though, if you single and doing your thing, then fuck them out, yeah. Religious. Um, are you a religious person? Nah, I ain't even finna cap. 
You don't believe in God. I mean, you believe. I believe in God, in God but yeah. I ain't finna sit here like I'm gonna be one hundred. My um, my uncle, like my role model, like he just came home from doing like thirteen, fourteen years type shit. He be the life sentence, and he like he big on that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so like lately, like I've been I've been praying a little bit more. Like I've been trying to like you know pop out on some like you know putting more into it. like my mom been going to church a lot more too so I feel like it's coming closer to me day by day like you know what I'm saying what I need to I need to go to church I need to you know right. learn some bible scriptures <laughs> you know what I mean like but I nah I'm not big on, I'm not big on that shit um, where do you see your career in let's say the next five years um, I just started a record label called Doggy Bone Records, so I say like have my my record going, my record label going. Um, but also it's like really entertainment. Like I want to do like I want to act. Mm. Um, mm. I want to write songs for people. Mm. Talk to me. Talk to me. Um, I want to open up doors for everybody around me. Type shit like. So they ain't got to keep asking me for shit every day. <laughs> oh, how do you deal with that? Um, oh, like, man. It, the hardest way possible, which is sending the money. Just sending the money. Mm. And, and I ain't going to lie to you. It be like, they don't give a fuck what you got going on. Like, Not at all. And it's it's our fault, though, because we made it like that. Like, we, like, we don't, you know, like, I it, it be times where I be popping it like, now. Like, what you need what? You feel what I'm saying? So it's like I understand it like and this is what I do this shit for and that's the reason why I go crazy and I won't stop because it's unlimited. You don't know when somebody gonna need something and I'm the person that gotta give it to them. Mm. Say that, say that, say that, say that. Mm. If you can if you can rewind the clock for a minute and have a conversation with the eighteen year old Rucci, what would that conversation be like? Can we do 17-year-old Ruchi? 17-year-old Ruchi, then. Finish school. Talk to me. I wish I would have I wish I would have never dropped out. Uh yeah, finish school and Nah, real shit. Seven, I wish I would have been on my money more. Mm-hmm. Bro, like, shout out to my mama. She I ain't had I ain't struggle or nothing like that, bro. Like. All the bad decisions I made because I wanted to make them, but my mama always kept me in some fly shit with money in my pocket. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, I wish I just would have been more, like, mature about what I had going on, like, and finish school. Mm. Yeah, I dropped out, and I was just like, fuck it. Like, but my mama, I, I, like, I dropped out, my mom was just like, what you want to do? I'm like, I want to rap. She said, well, you can't do that shit going to school, nigga. Like, <laughs> but. Get it in, like, and she just budgeted, like, whatever I had going, like. Oh, that's her. Mom was a big supporter. Hell yeah, but I, like, I was still choosing to just go to the hood and do stupid shit, like, even though my mom told me, like, it's good you dropped out, nigga. I got your rap career. Just don't do no stupid shit. She just didn't want me to end up like my pops and, like, or end up dead or in jail, like. Pops still alive? Yeah, pops, uh. Pops is in Mexico. He got deported like <laughs> five, six years ago. Pops hot. <laughs> Pops a tripper. Pop like to this second. Pops is the the only nigga I know who gon who still on that. Right. Like like he forever like my. Hey, that's the name of your album. Yeah. My pops is the the tripper. Like he you can't you can't take that nigga to somewhere with some keyways and shit right, like that. Right, you tweaking. know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Pops on that, like, you know what I'm saying? But he in Mexico right now. He in TJ chilling. Right, right, right. You have an open relationship with him? Talk to him a lot? Yeah, hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah, ups and downs. We get mad at each other all the time, like. But yeah, that's my Are dog. you bilingual? Do you speak Spanish as well? Nah, you know, it's crazy. Like, right now I got a little, my little Hispanic chick, right? I got a little Hispanic chick, and she be on me about that, like, I need to embrace my, my culture more, you know what I'm saying? Like. And like I've been, I'm open to it though because even like I see all the stuff that's going on, like 
with the uh, corridos, all the music that's going on. Like my grandma talk it all the time. Like I'm fluent about. Like I can like I can hear some shit and know what to say back, but I'm not gonna have a full blown conversation. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. right. Uh, what your Hispanic side of the family like? Uh-huh. It's locked all the way in as well. Yeah, hell yeah. They they all like, but like all my whole Hispanic side like. Like my auntie, they all their baby daddies is black. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? My uncle, his baby mamas is black. Like my, oh, they, they, my dad, both his baby mamas is black. Like it's like crazy. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like my grandma the most like like hundred percent like like El Salvadorian. Like she keep that shit and it in. It's like you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like so it'll never go nowhere. Where you because... at with the grand- grandchildren? Like the first one, second. Oh, I'm the first one. Yeah, I'm the first one. Yeah, I'm the. That's why, bro. She be on me to my grandma. Oh my god! Like she don't approve of none of this shit. <laughs> none. Like no matter how successful I am, like she gonna talk about this cup right here. Like she gonna be on me. Like she don't approve of none of this shit. But I love you, grandma. <laughs> Yeah. Uh when your projects wrapping? Uh hopefully next month, man. Like I said, I gotta I, I gotta You still got more shit to clear? Yeah. Yeah, I I, I hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's crazy though. I'm a, I'm gonna give you some exclusive shit though. Look. Um I got a gang of big features on there, right? Mm-hmm. But this shit like this shit not going on the album no more, so I'm gonna say it because I don't even give a fuck. Mm-hmm. I can't get this nigga Skiller Baby to clear this fucking record, bro. Why? I don't know. I've been I've been trying for a couple months now. They keep pushing it back, type shit. But it's like this now is why this why him? I don't like. Yeah, but no, 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 I haven't, and I can't even. You know, you know how I go. Like you can't chase no nigga down, type shit. But um, I respect niggas' careers and shit. But that's why I don't fuck with the rap shit. Cause it's like. I'm going to be one. It ain't nothing to say yeah or no. Right. So when you dealing with this rap shit, you got to buy, you got to play the game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't get in your feelings about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it do be like, damn, blood. Like, I don't want shit. <laughs> it's crazy because when uh, when we sat down, I'm like, nigga, we got to rap. You're like, come on, fool. Woo, woo. I'm yeah. like, uh, just joking. I'm like, can't fuck with me, woo, Rucci. It's like, I keep up, dog. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I get it. I get it. But this is what I don't like, Rucci. Like, we sitting here, we vibing, we working, right? You feel me? I do a song for you. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Um, we leave. You feel me? You can't get a hold of me. None of that. But when we was around all these demons... You get what I'm saying? All these chain grabbers, all these. You get what I'm saying? And that's how I be with a lot of shit, too. Because, like, I'm glad you brought that shit up, too, because I'm some L.A. shit, too. Nigga, like, niggas be, like, with Rucci, I promise to God, niggas won't answer Rucci DM. On my mama, niggas will not answer Rucci DM. But every time I see a nigga in public, they right here, like, Mm, we got to yeah, do something what do we that. doing, Ruchi. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I know. I know. I know. And I'm such a real ass nigga, bro. I don't like putting niggas on the front. I, all right. I chalk it up. You know what I'm saying? I just know I can't get jiggy with you like that. You feel me? But like, yeah, that shit happened with Ruchi all the time. And nigga, on my son, you can ask. You can, niggas be outside with me. They see it. They be like, oh, uh, yeah. Didn't you didn't you hit him up, Ruchi? Cause I be trying to keep it music. I'm a music type nigga. I love music. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'ma keep it music all the time, you know what I'm saying? But I won't, like I said, I ain't finna take it there unless a nigga gotta touch you. Like, yeah. But on some music shit, like nigga, like, I don't like to sound like a female, like respond to a nigga DM or nothing. But if you're not gonna respond to me, or if you leave me on scene or whatever you do. Don't be like that in person to like cause now it's like am I not supposed to feel some type of way? Yeah. Like, yeah, trust me, I know, bro. Trust me, bro. Trust me. I deal with it. I deal with you it. You gotta chase niggas down, like, you know what I'm saying? It'd be like, okay, but when I get a hold of you, I, I don't wanna really get a hold of you now. Cause now it's like, I done told my homies that that you did this and they more mad than me. 
Trust me, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I, I can't even tell a homie. I, I, I promise you, I can't even tell a homie, like, if I feel the type of way about somebody, they going to, nigga, they send, first thing a nigga posts, they send it to me, like, what about this? <laughs> nigga, like. Yeah, they the tweaking. Homies, yeah, the homies be on that, you feel me? Because the homies ain't got to keep up this rapper ass image, like. Them niggas ain't, you know what I'm saying? They could tweak out and won't get judged. Like, you feel bro, me? All right, bro. Trust as soon me. as we tweak out, we, uh, this nigga and his feelings, or, you know what I mean? Be like, damn. Like, Trust me, bro. We shut the fuck up. I know, bro. And it's fucked up because um, I feel as if, like, like, nigga, you just treating me like I'm a sucker. So yeah, that's how man. I look at it. Like, you ain't even got to rap for me. Nah, like, it's like, like you said, okay, you, man, hit me, bro, it's love, hit me, hit me, okay, boom. A nigga reach out, and then it be, like, damn. But then when you see me, it's, oh, my nigga, my, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, because that shit cool. Like, the rap, I, I promise you, like, I used to be on some, I don't want to be, I done been around some rap shit, and it was kind of cool, like, niggas vibing, like, nigga, I got money, you got money, let's go spend some money, let's go be on some rap, that shit kind of cool. You right, feel right, me? right, like, right. But I be looking for consistency. Like, nigga, a, a sucker for a friendship. Like, you know what I'm saying? But a nigga like, okay, like, if you ain't going to be consistent, I don't even like, know. Right, right, right. And now I just think you fake. Like, you was just rocking with me because it was pressure on you. Like, Yeah, and then the cold part about it is, like, nigga, we know every studio. Like, every, like, everything, every That's background. That's another thing. Everything. Like, it be like... But everybody got to learn their lesson. Yeah. yeah. Everybody got And a lot of niggas ain't never learned their lesson. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But L.A. on, on some real shit, that LA, L.A. is not safe. Not at all. I'm going to be one. I don't not care what niggas say. And you got to know how to move. And you got to know what you, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. from L.A., nigga. I got to move a certain way. I got to, don't think just because I'm from L.A. that a nigga, no, nigga, you, anybody in L.A., you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas will rob you. Oh God, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They they like the shit on the news and shit now. They see niggas getting away with it. It's up in LA, nigga. <laughs> oh, my mom, I be telling nigga all the time, like nigga, I, I'm not the biggest blood, nigga. Like nigga, I gotta I gotta move right, like accordingly. Yes, sir. Don't get caught slipping. Yes, sir. With that being said, uh, Ruchi, man, is. Much love, love and respect, man. Salute hey, again. Salute every time. Like I said, it's always. You feel me? Hey, it, look, on me, look. Hey, when I was younger, nigga, I popped the pill, right? And that's when that Get It In came out. And you did a verse on the remix, right? Hmm. And niggas was talking about what you were saying because you was just mumbling and talking your <laughs> shit, right? I was off a pill. I'm like, I know everything he said, blood. I know exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> Shout out a little blood, nigga. <laughs> yes, sir. It's definitely a tweak. Um, <laughs> how can the people reach you? Uh, man, shit. ING Rucci on everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna start a lot of shit like gaming and twitching and all that shit. Cause dope, I, mean, dope, dope, I just dope. bought me a house, so I, I got to get into Like, I got to get my shit going. But you yeah, be TikToking bro. too. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm on I'm on everything. I'm with the culture. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I got kids. So. And they got a little TikTok dance too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got kids and shit, so like nieces and nephews. So I, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I fuck around with the fuck around. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no Hollywood, nigga. Get at me. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. Um Oh, this is that thing. Give me a business for um like uh if you was to open a business right now or something that you wanna do, like what would that be? Right now, right now? Yeah. Or in the future? Um, straight up, I uh, I open like a, um, like, you know, like your, like an essential spot. Mm -hmm. So where you get like your t-shirts, your socks, uh, your slosser. drawers. But like, it's going to be like, it's not going to be like, oh no. So, if we if you think about a swap me, you think about cheap shit. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I'm talking about like a central store to where it's like like high end essential shit. Like the like nigga, you go there, nigga, like I put this motherfucker right in the section, bro, cause like a lot of people be over there cause of so fine shit. But like 
some high end soaps, toothbrushes, and mm. essential shit like to start your day. Like you know what I'm saying? Underwear like a like a like a like a like a hood bougie Target type shit. Mm. Like you feel what I'm saying? That's what I want to do, bro. Cause I be talking to my peoples about that shit like all the time. Like them essentials be a motherfucking. And some people sure. like like we get into a, like a like a stage now in life where. TikTok and all that taking over the world, so people don't want the regular shit no more, nigga. Like they buying the spending too fresh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you right, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they buying like little crafty shit, like to to seem uppity on some type of other shit. Yeah, everybody yeah, so wants like, to be exclusive. Yeah, some bougie target, little hood bougie target type shit. Appreciate you, dog. Appreciate, Appreciate you, you like King. Um, man, we gonna keep this shit going, man. We gonna keep this shit going. Um, Y'all make sure y'all tweak on a new project dropping. Yes, sir. Forever on that. Forever on we're that. We're going to do it up. Y'all going to see some Ruchi and Lil' Blood shit coming too. Gang shit. Uh, if we, if he clear this fucking uh, song. <laughs> I ain't the mother nigga. <laughs> <laughs> if he clear the fucking song. <laughs> it's all good, man. Lil' Blood TV, Talker Media. Over and out. Yes, sir.